So in the first part of annotation, uh, I showed you how to work with uh, the dimension styles and how to annotate the dimensions. Uh, now I'm going to talk about how to annotate text as well as how to annotate the multi-liter, the one that you see over here and the one that you see over here. Now again, this works exactly the same way as it worked with the dimension. Uh, just to give you an example, I go to my layout. Now in the layout, you see uh, the text, the dimension, as well as the multi-liter. Now if I double click in, uh, the viewport scale shows it as 1 is to 2. If I go change it to 1 is to 1, I'll see what happens. If I go change it to 1 is to 1, the text height remains the same, the dimension style remains the same, like you see on the screen, as well as this one remains the same. But what happened was the drawing went up double the size. So all these change because I have assigned them an annotative scale. Now let's see how we assign that to our leader as well as to our text. I'm just going to go in another drawing which have not been assigned before. Now let's start with the multi-line text. So I can go click in either the multi-line or I can do single line. I'll click single line. I have to make sure that I am on my text layer. Annotate and single line. And I click on the screen. By default, it's 0.2. I'll hit enter. The rotation angle is 0. I'll hit enter. And then I'm going to type top view. Okay. So now this uh, has been put in as a dimension, but is it uh, an annotative dimension? When I move my cursor, you see it is not. So I have to go change it to annotative dimension. And how do I do uh, annotative text? Sorry. And how do I do this? I go to the textile manager by clicking right there. Then I have to select annotate, and I hit apply. Okay, by default it is not selected, so I have to click annotate and hit apply. I'm going to delete it again. Now you see the annotate symbol. I'm going to go make my single line text, click on the drawing, hit enter, enter. I'm going to type top view. Okay, so if I move my cursor right now, it shows me the annotate symbol that means uh, there's the annotation scale that's already applied to it. Now we have to make sure what are the different annotative scales that are applied to it. Okay, so I'll click on it. So basically, it's selected. I could even go and uh, assign it over here, but instead of that, I'm just going to go add and delete scales, just the same way that we did it to our dimension. So the only scale that's applied to my text is 1 is to 1. So I'm going to add some more scales, mostly 1 is to 2 and 1 is to 4, because that's what uh, we did with our dimension as well. And I'm going to hit OK. Now if I change my annotation to uh, 1 is to 2 and 1 is to 4, it should change this. I could always click on the Update button right here, so uh, just to make sure that uh, it has been updated. Okay, so let's go to 1 is to 2. You see what happened there? So this went up as well as the dimension, both at the same time. Why? Because again, an annotative scale has been assigned to it, which is 1 is to 1, 1 is to 2, and 1 is to 4. So the rest of them won't work, the reason being because I have just assigned to these three. Now I'm going to go in my layout. Now you see that over here already it's been uh, assigned. Sometimes if you don't see it, you could always turn it on and off from here. Sometimes when you annotate the dimension, you won't see it in this screen over here. So make sure that you click on this. It shows the visibility of annotation. Okay? That is if you don't see it. Now uh, let's go inside 
and now I am going to give it another scale. Right now I have given it a scale of 1 is to 1. Now let's try to change it to 1 is to 2. So you see what happened? The drawing scaled down half the size as it was before, but it still maintained the, <coughs> the dimension size. It still maintained the text size throughout my whole drawing. Now this drawing is 1 is to 2. This is 1 is to 2 as well. Maybe I'll just go change this to 1 is to 1. Okay. So now the drawing size is double, but the dimension size remains the same. The text size remains the same. Why? Because we have assigned it an annotative scale or annotative text. Now let's jump to, maybe I can even copy this, right? And I could put it uh, wherever I want, and I could modify it to uh, front view, and then, then side view. Okay. Now these should be annotative as well when I move the cursor. There you go. There you go. Just to make sure I'm going to change the scale. Okay. Everything scales up at the same time. The dimension, the text, both of them scale at the same time. If I go in here, if I change it to uh, whatever other scale, now it was 1 is to 2, I change it to 1 is to 1. Now see the text height and everything still remain the same everywhere throughout the whole screen, and that's what we are trying to achieve here. Now I'll go to the last one where I will uh, annotate the leader, the multi leader. Again, by default, if you see it's a standard mode, there's no annotation symbol, it had not been annotated. So when I do that, I make sure that I select the annotate on. First thing I'm going to do is make sure I'm on my dimensions layer because that's where I'm going to put my multi-leader. Go to annotate, hit multi-leader. No, not hit there, but we're going to go make sure we change it to annotation by clicking there. Uh, you got to hit modify. Now, you have to look for the annotative scale right here, which is in the leader structure. Click it, turn it on, hit K. I can set it to current and close it. Now, see the symbol has changed to annotative leader style. Now, I am going to use this leader maybe for the whole. Click, click, and then I'm going to write for times percent percent C which is the symbol for diameter and uh, uh, the diameter is 2.0 hit enter enter escape and hit yes okay so I have given it an annotative multi-leader now let's see what the scale of uh, the multi-leader I'll click on it. Scale is 1 is to 2. So I have to add what? I have to add 1 is to 1 and 1 is to 4 because that's what my layout is. That's all the different viewports my layout has. I'm going to the same place, add and delete. Add 1 is to 1, hit OK. Add 1 is to 4, hit OK. You can add as many as you want. It's up to you. And hit OK. So you have to make sure the annotative scale is applied for the three different scales which I selected to the leader, to the dimension, to the text. All three of them you have to do. It's not like you just do one and everything gets updated automatically. So I have assigned the annotative scale to this one as well. So now all three should change at the same time. See, the dimension change the text change as well as my annotation multi-leader changed. Now you could assign annotation to anything that you see in this bar. You could assign an annotation scale to the table that you created on AutoCAD or even an Excel drawing. You could uh, annotate the wipeout, the revision cloud uh, as well. Okay, But most importantly, this are, these are the ones that we always use, so that's what you have to annotate for sure. 
Now I'm going to go back to the layout to see if my annotation worked over here. Sometimes if you don't see your annotation, again I say make sure that you turn it on from here and turn it off. It's visibility, even though I can still see it, but for some reason you don't see it, go click there and make it visible. So I'll go in, the scale right now is 1 is to 1, again I'm going to jump to 1 is to 2, okay? See my leader changed as well, dimension changed, text changed. Now I have a scale of 1 is to 1, maybe I'll make it 1 is to 4, so the drawing is half the size of this, but again the my multi-leader, the dimension, and the text have the same exact size throughout my sheet. Okay, so likewise, I could add even more number of uh, viewports onto my drawing sheet and give it another scale. Like this one is one is to four, so I'm going to give it as one is to one. Okay, I'm going to move it a little out of the way. I'm going to shrink this viewport to that. I'll move this. So a lot of times you will be having one paper space layout and you might have one, two, and three different or four different scales. One is for the whole drawing, one is for the detail, which it may be over here, and the other thing might be even a closer detail of that object, or like a zoom-in detail. But we have to make sure all the text, the leader, the, uh, the dimension styles remain consistent throughout our whole drawing, so that's what our main aim is. And to do that, again, you have to make sure that you assign them an annotative scale for the dimension, for the multi-leader, and for the multi-text as well. Okay, so that pretty much concludes this class. I hope you did understand. I know it went for a while, but once you get it, once you understand the concept behind using the annotative scale, then you could make a better choice as to what you want to use in your next project. Do you want to use a standard scale or do you want to go in and use an annotative scale by just going and clicking right there or same thing in the multi-leader or the multi-line text. Again, any questions, I appreciate. Uh, I will reply back, subscribe to my channel so that you know when I'm uploading new videos so you can learn more from this class. All right, this is your tutor Ali. Thank you.